students, welcome to math. Uh, for today, you will need your 5A textbook, your 5A workbook, your math resource binder, as well as paper and pencil. If you need to pause and go get those things, please do so now. Then come on back. To start today, we are going to be doing a division problem. So go ahead and pause and solve them when you are done. Come on back and see how you did. Okay, I would say that this is pretty close to 25. So I'm going to assume we're dividing by 25. And remember that um, there are four 25s in 100. And we are almost close to 200. So I'm going to divide, actually. Or I'm going to say that this goes in eight times. Eight times four, 32. Hold on to that three. Eight times two is 16. Plus three more is 19. Ooh, looks like this was a great estimate. Our answer would be eight, remainder three. Fifth graders, as I indicated yesterday, our objective for today, more division by a two digit number. We're actually gonna, like I said yesterday, we're gonna do it today. We're also gonna do it tomorrow. So again, lots and lots of practice with our division. So to get us started, we're gonna go back over the notes that we looked at yesterday, and then we're just gonna get right in and do practice together. So without further ado, remember when we are dividing by a two digit number, step one is to divide, okay? So we said, 12 does not go into 5, but it goes into 51 four times. Step 2 is to multiply. 4 times 12 is 48. Step 3 is to subtract. 51 minus 48 is 3. Step 4, bring down, which we actually still haven't had to bring down yet, but we'll get there. Okay, step 5, in this case, we can repeat because we could bring down. So we go back to the start. We divide. Uh, 12 goes into 34 twice. We multiply, two times 12 is 24. We subtract, 34 minus 24 is 10. Bring down, there's nothing to bring down, which means there's nothing to repeat. So we find our remainder, which is 10. So 42, remainder 10. Fifth graders, as with the past couple of days, we're gonna be doing practice. Miss Burry is going to show that she has a growth mindset. And by she, we mean me. Um, I'm going to use a pencil today so that I don't continue to be scribbling out answers as I go. We're going to be in our 5A textbooks on page 47. You'll need paper and a pencil, and you're going to work along with me. Uh, as with last time, fifth graders, for a lot of this work, you're going to be working with me. And then eventually I'll tell you when it is time to pause, try it on your own and come back and see how you did. So we're gonna start with number 12, which is asking us to divide 570 by 16. Again, I remind you that neat writing, leaving space between your numbers will help with your division and it'll help you to line things up well. So how many times does 16 go into five? It doesn't. So we go ahead and cross that out, okay? I'm gonna actually look at this in terms of estimate as by 15, which I think of 15 as uh, when you think about a clock, right? And we talk about kind of units. We see 15, 30, 45, 60, okay? So if we're gonna say 15, we're gonna say, let's say three times, we'll see, okay? So we do our multiplication. Three times six is eight, hang on to that one. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And now we need to subtract, okay? 17 minus 8, we get 9. 4 minus 4 is 0. Our remainder here is less than 16, and that's what we want, so that's great. But now, look at that. We are finally bringing down. So we want to bring down that 0. And now we divide again. How many times does 16 go into 90? So again, think about quarters of an hour, right? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. 
That'd be six, but this is greater than 15, so we should probably just try five. Five times six is 30. Hang on to that three. Five times one is five, plus three is eight. We subtract and get 10. There is nothing more to bring down, which means that this is our remainder. We can check and see, is 10 less than 16? Yep, so we can be confident that our answer, 35, remainder 10 which if you look at the textbook is what they got too. All right, 13A, we are being asked to divide 870 divided by 34. So again, yes, keep working along with me, but you don't need to be pausing yet, okay? 34 does not go into eight. How many times would it go into 87? 30, if we rounded this to 30, 30 and then 60 and then 90. So three would be too high. So let's try two. Two times four is eight. Two times three is six. And now we subtract. We're gonna have to do some regrouping to do this subtraction. 17 minus eight is nine. Seven minus six is one. This is less than 34 and that's what we want to see. So we bring down. And now we do those steps again. We're going to divide again. So 34 goes into 190 how many times? Maybe six. If we said 30 times six, that would be 180. However, this is a lot bigger when we say 30 to 34. So I think it's gonna be wise of us, prudent of us to say five, okay? Five times four is 20. Remember, we hang on to that two. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. Next step is to subtract 20. 20 is less than 34. That's what we like to see, which means that's our remainder. So our answer is 25, remainder 20. Let's scoop this up so you can see more work. 13B is asking us to divide 862 by 28. So we start, 28 does not go into eight, okay? 28 does go into 86, how many times? Again, this is about 30. So 30, 60, 90, seems like three is too high, but we might be wrong. We'll try two and see what happens. Two times eight is 16 and we hang on to that one. Two times two is four. Plus, five, plus one is five, remainder of 30. So look here, 30 is greater than 28. What does that tell us, fifth graders? It tells us that we did not go high enough. So we actually need to go back and instead of doing two, we need to do three. Three times eight is 24, so we can write our four and then hang on to our two. Three times two is six, plus two more is eight. We subtract two, ah, uh, that looks much better. Two is less than 28. We bring down our two and do it all over again. So fifth graders, this is a good time to remember that I, when you're doing your division, you need to have something above each number of our, each dig, digit of our dividend. So here we have an X to hold that place and a three here. So now we ask ourselves, how many times does 28 go into 22? You should be able to say no times, right? It doesn't go at all. And so students often want to then just put a remainder 22 and say the answer is three remainder 22. But we wanna make sure we have a digit above each of these places. So how many times does 28 go into 22? The answer is zero. So we actually need to put a zero there. Three is very different than 30. So if we were to continue on and multiply zero times 28 is zero, we subtract 22. So our answer in this case is 30 remainder 22. And it's really important as you guys are thinking about your division, making sure you really have something above each of the digits in your dividend to make sure that you're getting the correct answer. Okay. 13C is asking us to divide 703 divided by 47. And fifth graders, you can just keep on working with me. This is pretty close to 50. 
So we're gonna think about that that way. How many times do you think it's gonna go into seven? It doesn't, it doesn't fit in. So now we're asking about 50 going into 70 and that's really only gonna go in the one time. So now we multiply one times 47 and then subtract. 10 minus seven is three, six minus four is two. And if we look, that looks great. 23 is less than 47. Now we bring down and we do it again. Again, if this is about 50, 50, 100, 150, 200, that's gonna be four. So let's try four and see how that goes. Four times seven is 28. So we put the eight and then keep the two. Four times four is 16, plus two more is 18. I have a wondering at this point if our remainder is going to be small enough or we're gonna to have to bump this number up. But let's just see, we'll do our subtraction to find out. So our 13 becomes, our three becomes a 13 and our three becomes a two. 13 minus eight is five. We gotta regroup again. 12 minus eight is four. Ooh, it was close, but we made it. 45 is less than 47. So our answer is 14 remainder 45. Thank you for continuing to work along with me, fifth graders. We are on to 13D, where we're being asked to divide 612 divided by 15. So we look again. 15 does not go into six, okay? This is again helpful to be thinking about hours or minutes in an hour, right? 15, we have that clock being divided in those 15 minute increments, right? 15, 30, 45, 60. So how many times? Four times. Four times 15 is 60. We subtract and get one. We bring down. Good news, this is smaller than this, so we know we're on the right track. However, we gotta pay attention. How many times does 15 go into 12? It goes in zero times and we need to put that zero there, okay? Because again, four and 40 are very different. So remember, as you're thinking, you need to have something above each digit in your dividend. Now we could multiply and this step is a little unnecessary. If you end up with zero and it's the end, then of course zero times 15 is zero when you're gonna subtract and get 12 again. So our answer is 40 remainder 12, okay? Fifth graders, we're gonna do three more together and then I'm going to ask you to do three on your own, okay? So keep on working with me. 14A, we're dividing 552 divided by 24. This is about 25. So that's kind of how I'm gonna think this through. Okay, it does not go into five, 55. So 25, think about quarters, right? Two quarters is 50 cents. So two seems like a good place to start. Two times four is eight. Two times two is four. And we subtract. When we subtract, we get seven, which is great. And bring down that two, and then we do the whole thing over again. 25. <clears throat> This seems like very close, and maybe it would do it. You might say two. I'm gonna say three. Let's just see what happens if we do three. So three times four is 12, and we hang on to the one. Three times two is six, plus one is 72. Ooh, Miss Burry made the right choice. We get exactly 23 with no remainder, okay? Awesome, let's try 14B together. 660 divided by 29. And again, we're thinking this is like about 30. So that's gonna help us as we're trying to figure out what to go up here. So it doesn't go into six. If this were 30 going into 66, how many times would it go in? Yeah, two times, okay. Two times nine is 18 and we hang on to the one. Two times two is four, plus one is five, and then subtract and get eight. 
Now we bring down and do the whole thing over again. 29 goes into 80. Again, I think only two times, right? If we're talking about 30, 30, 60, 90. 90 seems way too big to go into 80. So just two again. And then in terms of multiplication, we already did that here. Two times 29 is 58. So two again times 29, we're still going to be getting 58, okay? So we subtract and get 22. And sure enough, 22 is less than 29. There's nothing more to bring down. We check and see, yep, there's something above every digit in our dividend. So our answer is actually 22, remainder 22. Sometimes I wonder if the editors of books do this for fun to entertain themselves, right? 22, remainder 22. All right, last one we're going to do together, fifth graders, before I ask you to pause and work on your own. So again, I kind of think, yeah, this is pretty close to 50. That's going to help me, I think. Although this is definitely tricky. They're kind of pushing us. Certainly it's going to go in at least once. I think it's going to go in twice, to be honest with you. Okay. Two times six is 12. We hang on to that one. Two times four is eight. Plus one is nine. Oh, just barely. We bring down our five. Remember, we need to have something above all of these digits. So 46 goes into five zero times. Zero times 46 is zero. Five minus zero is five. And we end up with 20 remainder five. Fifth graders, I'm gonna ask you to pause, work on D, E, and F. And once you are done, come on back and see how you did. All right, fifth graders. D is asking you to, to divide 399 divided by 31. So about 30, that's going to be our gauge, okay? 31 does not go into 3. How many times would it go into 39? Just the once. You can feel pretty confident about that. So we multiply and subtract. 9 minus 1 is 8. And then we subtract or bring down the nine. Remember, 30, 60, 93 would be too much. So we're going to just do the two. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. And we subtract. Nine minus two is seven. Eight minus six is two. Good news. That is less than 31. So our remainder looks set. 12, remainder 27. Hopefully you got that correct. E, you were asked to divide 708 divided by 67. Okay, 67 does not go into seven and it goes into 70 just the once. We multiply and subtract, bring down the eight. How'd you guys do? Were you tricked or did you do it right? How many times does 60 go into 38? Zero. I really hope you had a zero there. Remember, something above each digit. We multiply, we subtract, and this is our remainder. Our answer should be 10 remainder 38. And one more that you all did, fifth graders. 374 divided by 18. 18 does not go in to 3. It goes into 37 twice. Okay, with a remainder of 1. We bring down our 4. And again, how do we do? They really wanted to make sure you got this. 18 goes into 14 how many times? Zero times. Again, you want to make sure there's something above every div every digit in your dividend. We multiply, we subtract. That is our, re our remainder. So our answer is 20, remainder 14. How'd we do, fifth graders? Was our division okay? Hopefully, you guys are feeling more and more confident with the additional days of practice. So for today, fifth graders, your practice is going to be page 39 in your workbook. You want to work on those problems, check it against the key, see how you did, okay? 
Then your homework is going to be the attachment. You're going to complete that on any piece of paper that you have. And then go ahead and submit a picture of that work. Uh, good luck. I uh, can't wait to see what you guys are doing.